Okay, another part of my amateur video for installing the Aridus adapter for a Magpul stock on a Beretta 1301. Alright, so this is what the end product looks like. And here's some video to show you how I got to this point. Hello everybody. You can tell I don't have a station for you to subscribe to. I don't even really do a whole lot on YouTube. But this was something that I was halfway through and I figured, you know what, let's make a video because it took me a while to figure it out and hopefully I can help you as well. I've got a Beretta 1301 shotgun, semi-automatic. It is the first shotgun I have. I am definitely uh, an amateur when it comes to a lot of this, so take what you can from my video and hopefully it'll help you. Uh, the first part with the instructions that come from the Aridus manufacturer for the attachment, they're pretty well I don't know if you can read that or not but uh, not a lot of pictures I need pictures so I looked on YouTube I looked for video I looked at the websites I could not find anything to help with using the Aridus adapter to put on this new type of uh, stock which is the Magpul stock so I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to start showing and I'll probably do some editing as well to make this a little bit smoother you can tell this is very amateur because I'm sitting here watching a football game in my living room uh, working on top of a cardboard box. Uh, I don't know if anything else could get more amateur uh, except that you know having a uh, dog or two might be running into the video. So what we did was we used the Phillips head screwdriver. We reached into the back part of the cushion on the stock, the original stock that came with that. You take those two screws out. Once you do that you get this small rubber portion uh, the screws look like that. That's what comes out of there. I hold on to everything just in case I want to put it back or I need it for later. Once you do that, at the inside of this, I'm not going to move it because I've already disassembled that, you'll find a small little lug nut in there that you need to take out. The instructions say to use a 13 millimeter um, socket to pull that out. It is kind of a tight fit, so I suggest using something with a little bit of a reach but also can fit within the area. Once you get that out, uh, you're going to be able to remove the stock. So let's do that. Let's see if I can do this with just one hand, which I can't. So I'm going to put it on pause. I'm going to remove the stock and show you what's under there. All right, we're back. So remove the stock, and you can see there's a long bolt in there. Everybody talks about this in other videos, but I couldn't find a video that really got into the part of when you want to go to reattach the... Uh, new stock with the Aridus attachment. So, so here are the two parts that were removed. You can see the long bar um, and the original stock. I'm going to put these down below and then show you what you need for the next part, which will be the new stock. I've removed the um, butt plate off of that just so I could take a look in there. Something was rattling. I wasn't sure what it was. It's actually part of the attachment, so I don't expect a rattle once I connect everything. Uh, the other part that I started, and I didn't show you when I started this, but there is a little packet of Loctite or some generic brand of Loctite. Uh, the instructions do recommend using that on the threads, so I put it on there before I even started taking everything apart. Now, this was the part that was slightly confusing for me. Let's get rid of that one, because that's really just the part for the buttstock um, to put the pad back on. But when I opened up and looked at the new Magpul stock, this is what was in there. So I'm assuming that that's probably the best option if you're going to be attaching this to your Mossberg. When I opened up the Aridus attachment, it came with these two parts, which were connected. So looking at that, trying to figure out in my mind what connects to what and get it all figured out before I start uh, really doing anything I can't undo. So when I figured it all out and I went through the steps, these are the parts that you'll need. These come with the Aridus adapter. This part, like I do with everything else, I will hold on until I determine two to three years from now I don't need it. So I put Loctite on everything just to be careful. And now I'm going to move to start assembly. I'm going to take this portion here and I'm going to attach it into the end of the Beretta, the main portion here. It, uh, it's a tight fit, I'll tell you that. At first, when I uh, first was just testing it out, I didn't think it fit. I thought I had the wrong part. I was starting to panic. 
um, I started looking for more videos. But it does fit. You just have to get the angle, a little bit of a downward angle, um, and it lines up nicely. The other thing, too, is when you go to tighten that up, again, I'm going to use some vice grips, but I'm going to be very cautious with that. Uh, more for me, just because I don't like scratching up, you know, the nice finish on there. You can see the small prong that sticks out from the end there. It does get in the way a little bit when you're trying to use the vice grip, so I just come at it from a uh, different direction uh, to get that in there nice and tight. And I'm going to do that now, then I'll come back on the video once I have that part in there. Yeah, if I ever do this again, you really think I need to find a mount or something so I can record easier. All right, and we're back. So as you can see, I've got the attachment that came with the Aridus adapter uh, secured snugly in the back portion of the uh, main portion. You can tell I'm in Triumph. I don't even know what to call it, the receiver of the shotgun. And this is the part where I was trying to figure out what's next, you know, lining it all up. Uh, this is the, the bolt that came with the stock itself. And this was the small portion that came with the adapter. So lining that all up, uh, testing it a couple of times, that's when I realized I don't need this. So let's get that out of there. All you need is this piece. Now, once you have that ready to go, remember you have the actual uh, Aridus adapter, this portion here. At the same time, I also got the Magpul, I'm sorry, the Magpul SGA receiver sling mount so that I can have a mount closer up to the handguard. So the portion that came with the adapter, where did that come? That came with the stock, actually. So the portion that came with the stock, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use this instead. So we go to load this up. We take this. The adapter fits towards the back. You want to make sure you get that nice and flush. Once you have that, there's just enough room that you take the stock. Remember that part that rattles? It's right up in there. So you line that up and you take the adapter as well. Let's get that all in there. All right, so I've got the adapter, and let's see, can I do it one-handed? Can I do this one-handed and capture it all on video? All right, that was fun. Uh, tightening that uh, probably took uh, about two minutes, and I didn't think, why don't you just hand tighten uh, at first? But trust me. That space, you can't get your fingers in there to start with. Plus, when you're using, you know, a little bit of that treatment on the end of the, the bolt to make sure you get a nice Loctite uh, seal on there, uh, it doesn't want to turn by just, you know, hand tightening. So you've got to use that hex wrench, Allen wrench, whichever you call it, uh, to get that nice and tight, snug. Um, I definitely think it's on there secure. Uh, I don't want to over tighten it, you know. Uh, just because this is some type of a nice polymer, but you are talking about metal on plastic. Uh, so I'm always cautious about over tightening. Uh, I don't hear any rattle. I don't see any movement. I'm able to hold it directly by the stock without any um, feel or uh, shake that it doesn't look like it's tight enough. So got that connected. The next part is you take the little plastic cover that comes with the stock. Uh, if you maneuver this on your cardboard box, or maybe you've got actually, you know, a nice workbench or something to work on, uh, I'm not watching a football game while you do this, you just take that in, fit it, and then uh, you probably have to give it a little bit of whack. Oh no, look at that. Just enough thumb pressure. Nice and secure. Looks like you use some type of uh, small pry, you know, tool to get that back off if you need to, but I don't plan on removing that at any time in the future. So I've got the new stock, Magpul stock, put in place. Got the Aridus adapter that was allowed me to do that on this Beretta 1301. I've got my sling attachment. We'll see how I like that or not. Um, I know that this has built-in uh, sling attachments, but uh, I'm looking for a uh, convertible sling, which is a two-to-one sling. Uh, see what I like there, what's comfortable. 
um, for more of a tactical use for this and then also when I just go out to the range and shoot. You can tell I went cheap. I didn't go for the Aridus uh, connector. There's a really nice, you know, uh, additional shell holder that comes on the side. Uh, I'm not there yet, so I just have this Velcro, which uh, I can't reach it right now. Oh, yes, I can. And, you know, just stacks up on top of there. I've got two of these, so on my vest I can go ahead and put the second one. Uh, they easy on, easy off, and when I pull it, it does not remove the Velcro from the actual shotgun itself. Uh, you can tell that I've got the nice extension up here. Uh, it does have another release for a QD uh, attachment, and then I've got a little bit of a rail mount, so I'm going to put my flashlight on there as well, tactical flashlight, uh, with a pressure trigger to turn that on if I want to. Uh, because of the four, um, four grip that they have on here, it's got a little bit of a bevel to it, so trying to figure out exactly what I want to do with that, uh, I'm not sure yet. But uh, we'll see. I might go with the additional um, Aridus. There's, I can't remember the name of it, but there's a, another uh, foregrip option that you can modify this with as well. Looks pretty nice, so I'll figure that out. I'm going to stick with just iron sights right now. It does have the, the ghost ring sights and uh, get some good use into that before I start to invest more into this. So um, the only thing that's missing here is putting the plate on the back. I don't know if you want to sit and watch me do that, but I'll put it on pause. I'll come back in a second. You can see that. All right, wrapping up this very amateur video of how to attach the new Magpul stock onto a Beretta 1301 using the Aridus adapter. I also put in the new central sling mount, um, and that's about it. It's a wonderful shotgun. I really enjoy it. Uh, little to... Um, very little recoil or kick when, when you shoot this. It, it moves uh, very, very well. I uh, like the size. It's perfect for home tactical defense and just having some fun at the shooting range or out um, in the woods uh, shooting at just random targets that we set up. So uh, if you have any questions, you can post them in the comments, but honestly, I don't have a channel. I don't need you to subscribe. Uh, hopefully this helps somebody else and hopefully somebody comes out with a better version of this type of tutorial than mine very soon so you can have something else to help you. I can tell that this is a popular item because it's sold out on their website. Uh, it's difficult to find this uh, attachment. Uh, the Magpul stock is definitely in high demand, but uh, I was lucky enough to find those. So enjoy. Go out there and build your own. Be safe.